here across to this here. That's it. Awesome. You fold in the arms as much as you can. Cool. And keep this locked in there. Awesome, Ryan. Hey, morning, guys. Uh, today I'm going to get the, the grass mown. The grass has gone absolutely bananas uh, in our backyard at the moment. So uh, it's time to get rid of that. And then uh, I've got a few other things to do as well today. And then training tonight. Alright, so I just had a, uh, a shake um, midway through the mowing. I think it had coconut milk, avocado, avocado coconut oil, coconut oil chia, seed. chia seeds, cacao powder, cacao powder coconut, oil. coconut oil, coconut oil, what else is there? Nice. Oh, almond butter. And almond butter. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. I wouldn't say it tasted the greatest, but it actually tastes pretty good. And, uh, yeah. Get rid of the fat. <laughs> Man, there's nothing better than jumping in the pool after finishing mowing. Uh, you get so much dirt in your ears, your nose, and all sorts of stuff. It's always awesome to be able to do that. So I'm on my second day of ketogenic and I thought I'd just kind of give you guys a bit of a, a wrap up of how it's going so far, how it's feeling. Um, it hasn't been as bad as I thought in terms of the mental sort of cravings for sugar. Uh, it's been pretty, pretty comfortable getting off them to be honest. Um, I am a big sugar eater in general so I thought it was going to be a little trickier but energy today, 48 hours in or almost 48 hours in. It's really low. I've um, I try, I've, I've kept up with my training. I uh, just finished mowing the grass, and energy is just flat, just really flat. I don't actually feel that hungry. Um, I've eaten a whole heap of good fats and stuff today, and uh, my wife's being a, an absolute magician in the kitchen, making up all these fancy keto recipes, which is awesome because uh, she's doing it as well. So it's been good in that respect, but just really flat. I think that I'm probably borderline getting to that fully uh, sort of ketogenic phase. Might be somewhere over the next 24 hours that I'm fully there. And hopefully that sort of flatness that I'm feeling at the moment um, disappears. But there you go, that's pretty much what I'm feeling so far. Here we go. Rudy give me the demonstration of the meat hook. Once your hips up, beautiful. Hey guys, so that's it for the day today. Just had an awesome training session with Rudy Manur, who's a former uh, professional uh, gymnast and acrobat and circus entertainer. He's an awesome dude, uh, really, really nice guy and super strong hand. Um, but anyway, 48 hours into the ketogenic diet now. Um, I'm hoping that tomorrow's gonna be a lot easier than it was today. It was pretty hard today. I felt really, really flat. Um, major cravings for this sort of stuff. Sitting here looking at that going, oh man, <laughs> one of them. But anyway, I'm gonna resist the temptation and I'm gonna follow through um, for, for you guys as well, because not only am I gonna get a benefit of losing some fat, I know that a few of you guys wanna see how I go with the journey and see what sort of take I have on it, so. Um, I'm gonna keep going, but um, felt really flat today. I feel like my body is 
really saying, hey, what is going on? Why aren't you giving me any glucose anymore? I need some sugars. Um, I really haven't felt that hungry today. In terms of total calories that I've eaten, hasn't been much. Um, Heather's been doing some wonderful jobs in cooking various things, but I haven't eaten a lot. And when I do eat, whether it's like eggs or some meat or some almond butter or something like that, um, it doesn't really seem to change the effect. I don't feel any less hungry, I don't feel any more hungry. Um, I'm constantly just feeling in my head like this overwhelming, over overwhelming urge to have some sugar. Anyway, hoping that's gonna go away tomorrow, which will mean that I'll be probably into a ketogenic state fully and uh, when the fat loss will start to ramp up. Anyway guys, hope you're well, take care, I'll see you again tomorrow.